Hey, Dr. Travis Whitney here with Innate Healthcare Institute, and we are going to discuss how much stem cell therapy treatments cost. Um, pretty common, you do a little bit of Googling and you'll see it's not covered by insurance for the most part, and we'll get into that a little later. Uh, but let's dive into how much it costs and why it costs so much. So, big question I get is how much is stem cell treatments? Most people know it's, if you've been investigating stem cell therapy at all, you know it's not covered by insurance, and we'll dive into that a little later. Um, most people just want to know how much does it cost, and there's really no clear, great range of numbers to give uh, to people. There's a lot of different uh, factors. Um, that go into how much a stem cell therapy costs, how much the doctors just decide they want to charge, what their time is worth, how much time and money goes into um, either if they're making their own stem cells or if, uh, if they're buying from a third party or a commercial lab. Stuff like that really determines the overall cost, um, how much they got to spend in the marketing, if they have a huge marketing department um, or, or big advertisements for their uh, stem cell procedures. So all those little things are going to go into how much um, a stem cell therapy costs. Uh, at a, a clinic such as my own, where we keep everything like in-house, I can tell you a huge, huge cost is going into actually developing stem cells. This is not, um, this is not an, an expensive uh, field to be in. Uh, a lot of time, um, a lot of energy, and a lot of products go in to making these and it has to be a very, very uh, particular method and there's not a lot of room for error. Um, the products that go into making stem cells is, is very expensive. Uh, so that's why if you're calling around, you're getting quotes and you're like, I can't, why are these thousands and thousands of dollars uh, for these procedures? Um, that's why, you know, stem cell biologists are, are highly capable, skilled, um, PhDs, highly skilled scientists um, who make a career out of doing uh, this thing and uh, they've spent a long time doing it. So there's a lot of different factors that go into why stem cell medicine ends up being so expensive. The doctor's time and his skills that he's invested to, to doing things properly, what kind of a clinic they run. Um, so those are a lot of the things that are going into why um, uh, a stem cell therapy could be so expensive, or more specifically, like how much it costs. Um, I know places uh, there's overseas that range anywhere from you know twenty thousand dollars or higher. Um, for uh, um, my institute, for us here at Innate Healthcare Institute, it can be a few thousand dollars. Um, it can be up to twenty, thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars or higher. It really depends what we're doing. Um, how much time we're spending with the patient. Are we in doing other lab tests um, and what other medical procedures are we performing? Am I doing a small wrist injection, which requires just um, a small amount of, uh, of stem cells? Or are we doing, we treating like a big, uh, maybe like an anti-aging uh, approach or a chronic disease approach where we're gonna be administering treatments over a year, maybe longer, um, so all that stuff is factored in. How many stem cells are we using? Um, what other kinds of uh, functional integrative medical approaches are we using to get this person as healthy as we possibly can get them? Um, so to answer the question, kind of tough. How much is a stem cell therapy treatment? The answer is it depends. Um, depends what's being treated, how many treatments. Uh, so a lot goes into it. So. Um, just keep all those factors in mind when you're, when you're looking into stem cell therapy and you're wondering how much, um, uh, how much it should cost or how much um, it will cost. Um, but good to keep in mind, if you are shopping around, be sure to ask them really tough questions. If, they, if they're wanting to charge you um, $15,000 for their stem cell treatment, well, what does that entail? How many stem cells? Are they even using real stem cells? Are they providing labs? Are they providing other forms of care for you? Um, so those are some good questions. Uh, if you want to get in, uh, me to do a video on what those questions should be, 
uh, leave a comment down below and uh, we'll definitely make that a video. That's a really good video that you should, uh, you should know. Uh, so this is Dr. Travis Whitney with the Nate Healthcare Institute. I really hope that was helpful for you and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.